Good morning everyone. My name is Laprit Singh and I'm a master IELTS trainer at gandhisir.com and today we are going to learn about the paraphrasing. So let's get started. So let's start with that what paraphrasing is. So paraphrasing is when you take an original idea and rewrite it to express the same meaning but in a different way. It might be by changing words, word forms, sentence structure or using synonyms. If you think that this is just for writing academic papers, think again. We actually paraphrase all the time. You will be very amazed that in the reading as well as, as in the listening also, we have paraphrasing. They always paraphrase the questions. They don't give the direct questions or the direct text from the passage or in the listening. So they always use paraphrasing. So we will learn that how to do paraphrasing. So let's talk about the first method to paraphrase, which is changing the word forms. Another way to paraphrase is to change word forms. For example, changing a noun into a verb, a verb into a noun or an adjective into a noun or vice versa. So uh, I'll explain it to you with an example. So here it says that original many people find watching tennis interesting interesting is an adjective here so how we can paraphrase it we can say that many people have an interest in watching tennis so interest here is noun so what we have done we have changed the adjective to the noun i'll give you one more example and here it says some people think facebook is an invasion of privacy so invasion here is a noun and we will paraphrase it and it says that some people think Facebook has invaded our privacy. So here has invaded is a verb. So we have changed the noun into verb. So this is the way of paraphrasing by changing the word forms. That is by changing the noun into adjectives, adjectives into nouns, verbs into nouns and all. A third way to paraphrase is to change sentence structure. This could be by changing the sentence from passive to active or vice versa or changing the order of the clauses. Let's have a look at an example. So here it says the hurricane destroyed the city. So it is an in active voice. So how we can paraphrase it, we can say that the city was destroyed by the hurricane. So here, as you can see in the sentence above, the subject that is the hurricane became the object and the object, the city became the subject. So what we have done, we have changed the active and passive. We change the active into the passive one and the object uh, becomes the subject and the subject becomes the object here okay to be passive we also change the verb of destroyed into past perfect is that clear okay now passive to active so the sentence says the public transport system was developed by the city council and here the paraphrasing is the city council developed the public transport system so as you can see that we have changed the passive voice to the active voice so this is also the method to change uh, to do the paraphrasing by changing the sentence structure let's move to the next slide this is very simple method we use the synonyms Synonyms are the different words that express the same or similar meaning. Aise words jo same or similar meaning express karte hain, hum unhe synonyms kehte hain. For example, interesting, fascinating, curious and amusing are all synonyms. These all are synonyms. Sab ka matlab ya to ek hai ya ek jaisa hai which have same or similar meaning. Is that clear? So we call synonyms. Okay. But when 
some synonyms have a slightly different meaning for example fascinating has a stronger meaning than interesting so be careful when using synonyms we need to make sure that the words we are using convey the same level of meaning as the original so yes this is a very good thing and this is a thing to keep in mind when we are using the synonyms ki kai baar kya hota hai ki jab hum synonyms use karte hain to uska meaning us level tak nahi hota halaki uska meaning uske aas paas hota hai ya similar hota hai but that doesn't go to that much depth as the original one so whenever you are using an any synonym so always look for the depth of the meaning like what the meaning actually is and what now what the meaning now is like after using the synonym agar wo same hi baat keh raha hai aur usi meaning ke sath then it is fine to use that uh, then it is fine to use that synonym okay so let's do one example so here it says many people think that the cars should not be allowed in the city centers and how we can paraphrase it that many people believe humne think ko kya kar diya believe that wahan par tha cars should not be allowed aur yahan par humne kya kiya motor vehicles should be banned should not be allowed should be banned cars ko humne kar diya motor vehicles इन द अर्बन एरिया और ऊपर था सिटी सेंटर्स सो हेयर वी सेट अर्बन एरिया सो दिस इज द प्रॉपर वे टू डू द पैराफ्रेजिंग बाई यूजिंग द सेनेम्स सो नाउ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द स्टेप्स टू कीप इन माइंड वाइल पैराफ्रेजिंग सो आर फर्स्ट स्टेप इज रीड केयरफुली विच मीन्स वी मोस्टली वी यूज द पैराफ्रेजिंग इन राइटिंग टास्क टू एंड टास्क वन सो ऑलवेज रीड द क्वेश्चन वेरी केयरफुली आपने क्वेश्चन को बहुत ही बारीकी से पढ़ना है ये हमारा पहला स्टेप है एंड इन सेकेंड स्टेप वॉट वी डू इज वी मेक श्योर दैट यू कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टूड दैट वॉट दे आर आस्किंग इन द क्वेश्चन और वॉट द क्वेश्चन इज और स्टेप दो में आप बहुत ही अच्छे से इसे समझोगे कि क्वेश्चन क्या है और वो क्वेश्चन में क्या पूछ रहा है स्टेप थ्री इज गो अवे एंड टेक अ ब्रेक विच मीन्स so this is not a coffee break i am talking about here this is about that you need a time to think so this is the break i am talking about which you need for thinking that what i can write ye break wo hai jis break mein aapne sochna hai ki main kya likh sakta hu and in step 4 return to rewrite in your own words aap dobara wapas aaiye aur use apne shabdon mein likhiye but you need to make sure that grammar and vocabulary changes are necessary that there should be proper changes in grammar as well as in vocabulary aap grammar aur uski vocabulary jo hai wo change karenge jab aap paraphrase karenge aap same grammar aur same vocabulary use nahi karenge varna wo paraphrasing nahi hogi is that clear so these are very simple four steps which we need to keep in mind whenever we are doing paraphrasing so now we will try to understand the paraphrasing or the lecture we have covered before with the help of an example so here it says that some people say that the best way to improve public health is by increasing the number of sports facilities other however say this have a little effect on public health and other measures are required so this is our question as you can see this is somewhat similar to what we get in our task 2 so here what we can do we can change the vocabulary we can use individual instead of people believe and claim instead of say best ki jagah par hum ideal use kar sakte hain वेज की जगह या वे की जगह हम मेथड यूज कर सकते हैं वी कैन चेंज इंक्रीज इन टू डेवलप या डेवलप्ड से को हम आर्ग्यू कह सकते हैं यहां पर 
लिटल को हम माइनर कह सकते हैं और अदर देन को इंस्टेड ऑफ सो दिस सो दीज आर दर्ड्स विच वी हैव टू यूज और विच वी विल यूज टू पैराफ्रेज इट सो लेट सी द आंसर आंसर इज मैनी इंडिविजुअल्स बिलीव दैट द आइडियल मेथड टू डेवलप द पब्लिक हेल्थ एज बाय improving the number of sports facilities and activities while others argue this have only minor effect on public health and instead of this some alternatives are required as you can say that we haven't changed that much but we have changed whole vocabulary and whole sentence so this is the correct way to do the paraphrasing we have used synonyms here so here they say some people think that physical strength is important for success in sport while other think that mental strength is more important so this is the question that we are having and we can change some people into a group of people important into crucial physical strength into physically strong so let's see that how we can do it so here it says a section of people believe that being physically strong is crucial for supporting success a section of people we have uh, changed some people into a section of people believe that being physically strong we have changed physically strength physical strength to being physically strong so we have changed the structure of the sentence is crucial wahan par kya tha important yahan par humne likha is crucial for supporting success whereas others are of the opinion that mental power is most vital हालांकि जो दूसरे हैं उनका ये ओपिनियन है कि जो मेंटल पावर है वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है तो हमने उसकी जगह वाइटल लिख दिया और वाइल अदर्स अदर पीपल थिंक और यहां पर हमने लिख दिया वाइल अदर्स आर ऑफ द ओपिनियन सो आई यू गेटिंग माय पॉइंट दैट हाउ वी हैव डन द पैराफ्रेजिंग सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट देर आर many words or you can say synonyms which we can use while doing the paraphrasing and these are very common so we will start with happy you can also say fulfilled contented glad complete satisfied optimistic and pleased although these all these words have similar meaning but their use their usage should be different and should be according to the sentence and our demand so here you can see that second word is excited aesthetic energetic aroused bouncy nervous perky and c so these are the words which we can replace with excited but yes keep in mind that these words should as i have already told should convey the same meaning as the original sentence do not just copy paste these words but also look for the meaning they are conveying the third word is tender intimate loving warm hearted sympathetic touched kind soft these are the words which you can use but same according to their meaning and their usage so the fourth word is scared tense nervous anxious jittery frightened panic stricken terrified so these are the words for scared what you can replace the angry with the words are irritated resentful miffed upset mad furious and raging these are the words which you can use instead of angry sad sad ke liye hum kya kya use kar sakte hain down blue mopey grieved dejected depressed heartbroken so these are the words which you can use for sad again i am repeating myself for the fifth time that 
whenever you are using these kind of words or the synonyms, always look for the meaning they convey. Sometimes you can use the word, but the meaning they convey is completely different is, or is not as similar to the original one. So this is the very important point which you need to keep in mind while doing the paraphrasing. So that's all for the paraphrasing. I hope you will, you all will get good marks. Thank you.